Hello squad, it has been a minute. Um, I've actually kind of missed vlogging. That was like a fun thing for me to do this summer. Um, I was gonna do Vlogmas and I filmed a couple days, but then I fell into a deep depression. Um, yeah, I was not good that whole month. Um, and I wasn't gonna hop on camera and like pretend. And I do think being honest is better. Like I would rather watch someone be like, I'm depressed, this is how I'm dealing with it. You know, you appreciate honesty and genuineness, but I also didn't want to be like a depressed mess being like, you know, so rather than like shove a camera in my own face, I just didn't do Vlogmas. And I was upset because I was going to do my birthday and I had all these plans on my birthday. Um, but then some asshole ruined my birthday. They will remain nameless, but they fucking suck. Like I've never been big on birthdays anyways, but like I cried on my birthday. Um, and not like in a, I'm getting old kind of way. This person just sucked all the energy and good joy around anyone around them and made me cry on my birthday. So, um, I had all these plans for my birthday and then I just ended up crying. Um, also like on my birthday, I was like, oh, I'm going to treat myself because there's nothing else to do. So I was going to get my nails done. My nail place was closed that day. Me and Caitlin were going to go to spin and then get margaritas afterwards. Spin canceled our class. So none of that ended up happening. So my birthday was kind of like a dud anyways, but it's old news. That day I was gonna joke like, hey, if you're a pervert who's constantly sliding into my DMs bothering me, today would be a great day to send me a Starbucks gift card. Um, and I kind of made that joke on Twitter and someone did send me money. Um, so thank you, Gary, you're the best. You're officially my favorite. Um, so it worked with one person. So part of me is like, maybe I should have hopped on Instagram and said that as a joke and then just kind of see what happened. Um, but again, thank you, Gary. That was the best. And this is not a dig at anyone. Like I know a lot of girls like will DM me and say something. I think that's fine. I welcome that. I love talking to you guys. It's the perverts who do the, hey, how are you? How's life? Think of anything better to say than that. Like even if like one of my good friends just texted me, how's life? I would ignore it. So you're gonna have to do better if you're trying to like really slide into my DMs. Anyways, um, I did wanna show some clips because I did film for Vlogmas. I just never put them together because I was in bed for like 27 days. So someone who did not make me cry on my birthday were Danielle and Keith. Um, like the weekend before my birthday, I went over to their apartment. We were gonna do a whole tree trimming thing. We do it every year, maybe the past two years, honestly. Uh, but like, we we're gonna make it a thing. Um, we literally sat on the couch for three days. I had a great time, but like the tree trimming never happened. Um, but Keith and Danielle did make me cupcakes on my birthday and sang to me. So at least I had a good birthday experience with them the weekend prior. Eating the fire. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Shannon. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Good luck, guys. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Goal is kind of on it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be true, Shannon. <laughs> Just like I should. Thanks, ladies. And then, as usual, we were little piggies. So, these are fried mac and cheese balls that we made from scratch. Very huge, but so good. But we didn't stop there. So, you're about to see the rest of our appetizers. And Keith bought an ice cream machine. All right, the pigs are back. <laughs> We got the tots. We got my dip. Pizza rolls. Chicken nuggets with cheese in them. And then the wieners. Holy shit. All right, so Keith got this fancy ice cream maker. What'd you make, strawberry? Yeah. Ooh. All right, what do we got on the side here? Is this for like your mix-ins? I see M&Ms, I see sprinkles. And there's um, special stuff in the last one. Ooh. It's marijuana oil. <laughs> <laughs> and then does everything go up here? Ooh! Wow, wow, wow. Does it look good? Yes. All right. Do you want a cone or a bowl? Oh my god. I'll do a cone. Let me. So the trick is to like put it like right under here. Right in the butthole. Right? Yeah. Right in the butthole. Whoa. Okay. 
I think that's good. Wow. <laughs> Very cute. Very cute. Mm. We got a pro here. <laughs> I used to do this in the Rowan cafeteria. <laughs> mm. Oh, it does taste really it's good. It's like creamy. Also, the next day it's been, um, Caitlin had this waiting for me on my bike. So she had a balloon. Um, she had just like a little present. There's a bottle of Prosecco in here. I don't know when I'm gonna pop that open. I'm, I'm not a big drinker, so I'm just like, this is just sitting here one day. Um, and then some homemade cookies. Like, you don't need to get me anything, but like, that was nice. Something simple. I was the most jazzed about this bag. It's cactuses, and we all know that's like my, my thing. Um, I'm a cactus lady. And then around Christmas time, I got Betty her own little Christmas dress. Um, and we put Archie in a Christmas sweater that I had also originally gotten for Betty, but I underestimated how big she is. Cause to me, I can pick her up with one hand. She's like 20 pounds, but she was so big for this little sweater. We had to cut it open. And Archie is like a big fat boy. So we put on him, we literally cut it like a muscle tee, but got it on him. So they had their cute little Christmas outfits. Okay, I bought Betty a Christmas dress. So we're gonna try it on and see if it fits. How cute though. Okay, mess. Look what we got for you. Look what we got. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I know. I know. Okay. Sit. Good girl. Whoa. 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 Nope. Okay. Sit. Good girl. <gasps> Look how cute you are. We got to get you some hair bows. Good girl. Oh my goodness. Archie's got, Betty's got a full dress. <laughs> and Archie's got his little sweater. Come on. Um, and I know I say, like, my family doesn't really do Christmas gifts, um, so I didn't get anyone shit. Um, <laughs> but I did get a few things for Christmas, and I would figured I'd show them to you. So, we all know I went through the ringer last year with my teeth, and I'm still going through it. So, I got a water pick <laughs> for Christmas. This is what you get when you're in your 30s. So, water pick, it just kind of like blast water between your teeth. Kind of gets what flossing doesn't. So psyched about that. And then this one's not so much a gift as it was, my brother was like drunk ordering online. He's like, you want one too? And I'm like, yeah. Um, so these are beach blankets and they're from Sand Cloud. So I got like a beach towel length. They also have blankets. Um, and I picked this blue and purple tie dye. So not that I'm a big beach girl, but now I have a beach blanket. I could probably use it in the park, like throw this down and like read on it, hang out with Betty, whatever. Oh my God, I just poke myself in the eye. Um, I think they're made from like recycled materials and the money goes towards saving turtles or something. So why not do some good while you're poking yourself in the eye? And then the final thing I got, this is how fucking boring and basic I am. Um, most people want like something nice, like a new purse for Christmas. I just asked my mom for some sea to fill, boom. Basic, easy, and it works really well. And those things are like $15, so I was being cheap. I'm like, I need this anyways. Like, that can be your gift to me. Like, there's no way to screw that up. So, got some Cetaphil to fill for Christmas. <laughs> and then something I bought myself, I see all these like influencers and like famous people. I watch those like what? Like Refinery29, Vogue Magazine, those kind of things. It's like my night routine with Dove Cameron. And you're like, okay. I watch a lot of those. And I think it was Dove Cameron who was using Biosance um, cleansing oil. I think Maxi Green uses this too. She's um, a model influencer. So I wanted to give it a try and Biosance was doing 30% off. So this is usually 30. I paid 21 and it was free shipping. So not as much of a kick in the ass as I thought it would be. And I really like it so far. Um, I'm trying to steer away. I'm always probably gonna use them a little. Steer away from makeup wipes. I've been using um, Olay cold cream, love that. So I just wanted to try something very similar. So you just pump like two things into your hands and it takes off your makeup. But I've had like no breakouts, nothing like crazy happened. So very happy with it so far. And then um, one of the like influencer sites I'm on, I think it was, no, it was Octoly. So anyone can sign up for Octoly, um, but they'll send you like free stuff for you to like review. And I've dead ass been part of this website for probably eight years and never used it. But then I saw in one of the emails that Biosance was um, 
an item you can get for free. So I was like, let's just see if it'll work. And I got three things from Biosance. Literally like one of these retails for $78. So I was jazzed to get all three of these. And I used them. I've been using them for the past week. Loving it. I feel like I should have started a skin routine a little earlier. I have to say the biggest help has been taking birth control, like regulating my hormones. So truly it's science, but the topical stuff, like I think it is adding things like definitely texture wise, like my pores here, like the next day appeared way smaller. So very happy with this so far. Um, yeah, that's all the new shit I've gotten. Um, I just filmed a video. Oh my God, was this one done the whole time? I don't know. I just filmed a video and I feel since I have a face on, I should probably shoot another one. I don't know, but there's a few things I've been putting off doing, like stain removing chocolate out of a white shirt and I'm gonna use, what is it called? Heavy cream to get the stain out. Found it on some Pinterest trick, so. We're gonna try that, probably ruin a nice Eloquii shirt that I just got. Um, but yeah, we're gonna give that a whack. This is the first time in a thousand years I've had a moment alone to myself. I live in Full House and it got a little fuller recently, so just like a fucking moment of solitude. I'm like, wow. But yeah, that's another reason I haven't vlogged. I hate vlogging around people, but we're gonna make it work. So, um, I'm standing here. Winnie the Pooh style with no pants on. I'm gonna put on some sweatpants because I just filmed a sweatpants haul because that's my life. Um, and I think we're gonna try the stain removal process. Okay, we've got the shirt in question. Um, and you're gonna be like, Shannon, you need to grow the fuck up because I got this stain on here in October. So I got this like early October, then I wore this a week later and I was so jazzed. Where is it? It's like fucking huge. And I'm like, how did I do that? Um, and then I was eating an ice cream cone in it and I even ate my ice cream cone like hunched over a garbage can as to not get any chocolate ice cream on here. Um, and you know what? I just spent a good chunk of this video searching for the stain and, and uh, where is it? Where is the stain? Am I going insane? And then I thought I was crazy. But then I'm like, I definitely have a try on in this where I try and cover the stain. So I knew it was like mid boob area um so luckily unless i'm having a brain malfunction it is not on the main titty area of the shirt it is on the tie up pretty big pretty chocolatey um but yeah i eat like a child and i've let this sit on here for months now because i'm a child who's depressed and unmotivated um i saw some kind of like Old wives internet hack. Soak it in heavy cream, cause the fat in it will lift it out. So actually it works out that it's just on the tie up part of this because that'll make soaking it a little easier. So we're gonna take a whack at it and uh, hopefully it doesn't ruin the shirt. I only paid $25 for it, but still. Okay, I only bought this heavy whipping cream for this video, but it's half gone, so I don't know. Who's using it and for what? Cause I feel like heavy cream is only to make whipped cream, but uh, I don't know. Maybe someone's trying to bulk up. Okay, so we're just gonna take the two bits with the chocolate on them. Ew, this, ugh. okay. And then this big boy. And I guess just let it sit in here. I don't know how long it's supposed to soak for, um, but yeah. We'll see how that works. Obviously, I'm not gonna throw it in the wash right away. I think I'm gonna then, hopefully it's gonna lift. Then I'm gonna rinse it with cold water. Um, then we'll see about the wash. Okay, it's been like a half hour of this soaking in heavy cream. So let's see if it still has the stain on it. Ugh. Okay, huge chocolate stain, still there. Um, I guess now we'll just run it through cold water. I don't know. <laughs> Ew, it feels like macaroni and cheese is slathered all over it. So yeah, I feel like uh, nothing happened. So I'm gonna soak um, some detergent on there, hopefully loosen that up a little bit more, and then we'll wash it again. Okay, just a little update. After the heavy cream, 
I rinsed it with cold water and nothing really happened. Then I let some detergent sit on this for like an hour. Then I washed it in cold and air dried it and the stains are completely gone. So I don't know if the heavy cream even helped or if it was just all detergent, but um, the stain is gone. So there's an update for you. Okay, now we're gonna finish the day with my Biosance makeup remover and face oil. Um, so basically it just kind of like melts away your makeup. See all the gray cast from my eye makeup? Um, very easy. Um, and I've been using it for a couple weeks. I'm really liking it. Then I followed it with just misting my face with water and then the Biosance eye cream. Sometimes I do a full skincare routine. Some days I just do like two things. So it really just depends. But I am trying to take better care of my skin. Could my hair be any dumber? Ugh. Ugh. Which brings me to my next point. Yes, this is my thousandth day in a row in this sweater. Um, so I just got an email from my agency um, about a photo shoot. And I haven't done a photo shoot in literally a year, maybe. Um, last week, my agent's like, do you have availability for a three-hour thing on Friday from like six, oh wait, three to six. And I thought she meant like a fitting cause like that's what she does for me. She gets me fittings. Um, and I was like, yeah, that's fine. And then like the photo shoot portion of the agency, I, I look so bad. <laughs> um, you know, sends me a booking for three to six for this company. Um, but it doesn't really say, where's my phone? It doesn't like say what I'm doing and for who and why. I just know it's a photo shoot. One of the girls at that company was like, um, we're gonna need like a black shirt, a white shirt, and white shoes. So if you don't have any of those, let me know and we'll buy them for you. So what I'm thinking is that it's just bottoms. I did a little bit of research about what company it is and it's not like a direct to the point like American Eagle jeans. It's like one of those companies that makes all the jeans and then you like buy them at Macy's kind of a thing. Um, but I'm pretty sure. It is just jeans, which will be good because then I don't have to do like the model face. I could just do like ass shots. So I'm okay with that. But yeah, I've been trying to do like detective work to figure out like what company this is. And also the fact that it didn't come from my agent. I can't be like, what is any of this? You know, I feel stupid doing that to like a new person from the agency. Also, the address sounded really familiar to me and I have done jeans fittings with this company in the past. So all my clues, is leading me to believe that it is just bottoms, which I'm okay with. Something else that also clued me into that it's not like a full photo shoot and it's just probably the bottoms, was that they're like, just come with like simple hair and makeup. So there will be no one there to do it for me. So I was like, they can't want a face shot that bad. If they're letting me do my own makeup, it can't be that important. So that's why I'm thinking it's just the bottoms, which again, is an ideal situation for a girl who cannot serve face. I did dye my hair the other day, it's really greasy right now, but just because I felt like I needed a refresh and I'm happy I did because like now I'm getting photographed so now I have like better roots. I feel like the past like three times I've dyed my hair, I always use L'Oreal Paris. It doesn't give me the effect I've been getting for the past like eight years I've been doing this. So this time I left it on, it says leave it on for 25 minutes. I left it on for a full hour and I got the roots that I want. Um, again, I'm greasy right now, but like when I'm showered, it's the hair color I want. So I'm very happy that I let it just eat my brain. I have been trying to lighten my hair though because I bought the overtone ginger, but one, I'm afraid to use it. And two, I kept getting weird dark roots when I was dyeing my hair with L'Oreal. And I wanted this to sit on the lightest hair possible to really get like a good ginger color. So now that I have this, I think I'm gonna let this like settle for a week and finally bite the bullet and do the overtone ginger. I figured like, okay, what I'm afraid of is that it's gonna be clown red, but what a perfect time to really botch your hair. Like I don't really go anywhere, no one sees me. I will wait till after the shoot, but I, I've been preparing my hair to do that and it's, the timing hasn't been right and I think I should just follow through with it. This is all to say I picked the worst week to cut my own bangs. Like, give myself a mullet, book a photo shoot. I should really botch my hair 
every week. So yeah, that's what we have to look forward to for Friday. Something fun, you know, different. When was the last time I had a photo shoot? I don't even know. So cool stuff coming up. Okay, it is literally 17 degrees out and it's like negative three with the wind. I'm heading to the city. Um, I did a light face. This is for me a light face. But um, the foundation I use right now, it's really good formula wise, but it's too dark. So then I added IT Cosmetics um, concealer over it just to like whiten me back up. But IT Cosmetics sits on top of my skin. So I look very like, ugh. My, I look ugh right now, um, but like up close, I don't like it. So hopefully it's like I predicted and it's just like the neck down. Um, I did curl my hair to give it some body. Hopefully the curls fall, but I'm getting in the city at like 1.30 and my shoot isn't until three. So I got to dick around Penn Station for an hour and a half. Hopefully I'll just clean myself up. But um, yeah, I just wanted to pop on say it's two freaking degrees outside and I'm going into a wind tunnel. giant baby when you get this part done. <laughs> huh. mm -hmm. That's cool. It's like... <laughs> awesome. We could do like the shirt too to, for the last shot. Like the way, you know, holding the plaid shirt or something. Oh yeah, that we forgot cool. that. Yeah. So the girls at the shoot were nice enough to film this for me. I always think it's fun to see the behind the scenes kind of stuff. I am so bad at posing, but this was really easy because all they really needed were some little movement shots, like right leg in front, hand on hip. Very, very easy. So it felt really natural. And this was the last pair of pants. So I kind of had a rhythm after 10 pairs of pants. Then we got fancy with this shirt and there was a point where they're like, okay, put it on the side. And I like could not think, um, but yeah, everything worked out. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other side. Who side? Yeah. No. I mean, like, the shirt <laughs> on the side? Okay, wait. <laughs> this shirt. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So then yes. they cover yeah. this. Okay, yes. okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's great. That's very nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. The woman did have to tuck in the shirt for me every time I did a front side and back. So it was a little weird, but like, that's your job. And, and especially me being a fit model for the most part, like I'm used to people like touching, pinching, grabbing. I don't mind any of that kind of stuff. But yeah, like I said in the beginning, you do feel like a giant baby when someone's tucking your shirt in for you. It was also a little weird to be the only person not wearing a mask. Um, I came out after getting dressed with my mask on. They're like, actually take yours off. Um, so everyone else had theirs on, and for the most part, we all stayed away, except for when she was tucking my shirt in. But it was a very weird experience to be the only maskless person. Right? Yeah. Can mm -hmm. show you all that shirt? Yes. Perfect. The one prop. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it looks good. It's what we need. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Just like on the floor. Like, <laughs> I'm done. Okay, I just finished. It's only 4 p.m. I was booked from 3 to 6, but we were like going through it. It's actually really easy and I felt really comfortable. I think it's because I knew like my face wasn't going to be in it. So I was like, oh, whatever. Like even at the beginning, I'm like, do I need to be smiling or is it all down? But he took whole shots and I'm just going like, to crop my head out. So I'm okay with that. Um, so yeah, I'm done way early. In an ideal world, I'd be heading to a Broadway show right now. Um, actually on this day, last year is when I saw Beetlejuice and I think Book of Mormon, two shows in one day. And I vlogged it, so I wish that could be happening right now. So I'm ahead of schedule, so I might, I'm gonna see if I can get something to eat because I try and get something I can only get in New York when I'm in New York. Um, and if not, I'll hop on the train and I'll be home early. But yeah, that went really, really well. She's like, do you do a lot of e-com? You're doing so good at this. And I was like, no, I like, I literally barely, I mean, maybe like once or twice a year I get an e-com. Um, but I've been practicing 
I was like, I do like the model shots alone in my room for YouTube. So she's like, oh, it's paying off. So I feel really confident about, you can't even see, but I did screw up my words. I feel really confident about the job I just did. So very happy with today. Okay, I'm home. I am dying to put on sweatpants. Um, my curls were really tight like this the entire day. I kind of curled it when they were damp. So I was like, this will be pin straight in like two seconds. And they were like very tight, like Shirley Temple curls during the shoot. And I don't like how that looks. So the entire time I was doing this, even when I had like an hour to kill in Penn Station, I was like doubled over, like shaking my head. And I still have very tight curls. It's going to look really good tomorrow, but I just think it looks very um, childish when you're shooting, you know, um, but they were okay with it. So I actually didn't know my rate for the shoot. I was booked for three hours and usually if you're booked and even if you only shoot an hour and a half, which is what I did, you still get paid for the three hours because essentially you would be, you know, you would have to say no to other jobs if they wanted you for that time frame. Um, and again, I didn't know my rate. So um, after I left, I left my voucher blank, which is, mm, so I emailed someone from the agency. It was not even my agent. So I don't even know who Omar is, um, but he got me this job. Thanks, Omar. I was like, what was the rate for that? I put three hours. I was only there for one and a half. And he's like, your rate is $300 an hour, which would have made me $900. But um, they only counted two. Um, so I'm still okay with $600, but it could have been $900. Um, again, because I was booked for three hours, I think I should have gotten three hours. But Again, I'm happy for getting two and it was a very easy job. So I'm okay with that. It's not gonna keep me up at night, that extra 300, but that was a very easy job. All the girls were so nice. So very happy about how today went. If all jobs could be like that, I'd be happy. Okay, sweatpants time. Are we gonna be lopsided? Or what's going on here? Oh God, okay, no. Okay, I've tried my best with this camera mount. Um, I don't even know what time it is. Let's see. 7.43. Um, so I am in my spin class parking lot. I'm taking 8 a.m. spin class. And then I'm getting vaccinated today. So my mom is a nurse. Um, and they got through everyone at the hospital. And now they're opening up vaccines to people affiliated who work at the hospital. Um, so... My brother's getting vaccinated right now, and then me and my dad are gonna go at 10, 15. Um, hopefully I have time to, you know, change clothes between then. Um, but yeah, very happy I'm getting it relatively early. I um, went to like the New Jersey, I look bald, look at me, I have hair. Um, I went to the New Jersey registration site for it maybe like two weeks ago, once I found out it was like open to the public, because I feel like nothing's really told to the general public. Um, and I hopped on that and then literally like the next day, my mom's like, if you, if I can get you vaccinated, would you want to do it? And I was like, yeah, obviously. Um, but yeah, so that's happening today. Um, I've been waking up every day for the past probably month at like 5 a.m. with the worst anxiety feeling. It's like in the pit of my stomach and then just like, it feels like someone has like their hands around my heart and I'm positive it's stemming from career and just future stuff and that's just giving me so much anxiety it's flooding my thoughts just like 24 7 so that's what i'm dealing with these days um if you are a recruiter or a writer or it work in hr please hit me up i would love resume help i just need to learn how to spin working for myself for the past three years like modeling and doing like freelance accounting I need to spin that back into working in corporate America. So if you can let me know any tips, any, anything, as we can tell, I don't know how to eloquently explain myself. So writing a resume is very hard to me. I'm a numbers person writing in general and just getting thoughts onto words. It doesn't add up for me. So if you can help me in that capacity, um, that would be really appreciated. So I'm still a little too early. It's now 7.46. Um, we're supposed to get a massive snowstorm today. Um, I was supposed to get my shot tomorrow, but we're getting like a blizzard, so they moved it to today. Um, so yeah, more time to sit in my house and fester about my future. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm worried, but I'm not too worried. So I don't know what this like physical manifestation is happening, why. Um, 
But yeah, that's what's going on with me. <laughs> so hopefully spinning can help with at least the physical. I need to like really get all that bad energy out. Um, I'm, I think this is my 290, okay. This will be my 294th ride, uh, very close to 300. There is no sign for 300. We have 100, 250, and 500, but it's still gonna be a nice little celebration. I hit 250 in, what was that, September? I did it in a video. Um, but your girl's been lazy. Um, so I have seven, six more rides after this. Um, and then I hit 300. So I'm gonna, ugh burp and then um <laughs> i'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and then go in and spin and then get my vaccine Whew, all done that flew by i feel like in the mornings it's especially daunting i'm like why do i keep doing this to myself okay like obviously your instructor is supposed to be inspiring throughout the class and he was because there was a few songs where i was like oh this is the inspirational one and i'm like it feels too early and then he finally did the inspirational one. I'm like, oh, like we're done. Cause that's usually the second to last song. Um, so that flew by. I think it helped that we had a really enthusiastic class. Like the guy behind me was singing the entire time. And I love that. And then there was like a group of three women. And I think they were friends cause they were like wooing and like yelling the entire time too. And I love that because I'm a wooer and like, I love to sing along. So when other people are doing it, I don't feel as dumb. I still do it when no one else does it, but like, it's nice when we're all kooky, you know? I think it was like two weeks ago, but there was a Miley Cyrus and Stevie Nicks ride. I was <laughs> living. So I like when other people are enthusiastic and joyous to be at swing class. It just makes you feel a little bit better about life. See how my mood changed from before? To now I still have flooded thoughts but like I think the physical anxiety subsided just a little bit you just got to get all that pent-up energy out so I don't even know what time it is um, I'm going to run home change I don't have time for a shower but at least get out of this um, I'll probably keep the jacket on though so it's easy to get the shot and then we're gonna go put a needle in our arm Okay, if you couldn't tell by the bad lighting, it is now nighttime. Um, I did want to update you about the vaccine. Um, it was very well run. I was in and out of there very quickly. I got the Pfizer. I'm feeling no side effects. Just a little pain at the injection site. Look at Archie trying to get up. Um, but I've heard really good things about everyone's first shot. The second shot, my mom said she had like a very like, she couldn't lift her arm. My cousin got the second shot the other day. He just felt like shit for like the night slept it off and felt better in the morning. Um, so who knows what's gonna happen with part two. I'll keep you updated, but part one, just fine. I trust science. I'm completely jazzed to get this. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching all like 35 minutes of this vlog, but I figured I would update you um, from December to now. Um, I wanna try and do this more often, but like I said, I don't like vlogging in front of people and I don't do a lot. It's tax season, so I'm at work all the time now um but i am gonna try and do more videos when i can and get on a better schedule if you've noticed i've maybe uploaded twice this whole year and i want to get better about that so again thank you so much for watching this and i will see you soon bye